All right, so we have a power bank that was sent to us by Zendur that we're going to be taking a look at. One of the claims is that this bank is crush proof. And on their website, they show it under the tire of a car. So, of course, we're going to have to test that. We have a smaller American sedan we're going to be using for this. And I'm estimating that we're going to be subjecting it to between 900 and 1,075 pounds of force when we do this. So, let's go ahead and see what happens. It is completely unharmed. All right. Let's try that once more in slow motion. We're going to go ahead and run the power bank over again in slow motion. One thing to watch carefully is this gray band that wraps all the way around the bank. This is a rubberized absorption belt, according to Zendur's uh, marketing materials, and we should see some deformation in this area as it absorbs the weight of the car traveling over top of it. Taking a look at the power bank after this testing, it appears not to have suffered any uh, integral damage. We do see some scratching on the aluminum used in the casing that's mostly superficial and it's only present on the side that was in direct contact with the concrete. Uh, at this point, I have recharged the power bank and it's charging at a normal rate and appears to be to powering devices just fine so it appears to have survived this entire ordeal unscathed uh, backing zenders claim that's at least highly crush resistant and that it was able to sustain the weight of a small car